I think that the best solution would be to find a cheaper place to go. Denise says that everybody has been saving money up for a while, but only Bo doesn't have enough. But if he has been saving money up, he should have some, at least. The three really want to go together, so they should just find some place in all of their price ranges and just go to the Bahamas some other time. I think this situation is better than lending Bo money, because it's not always a good idea to lend money to friends. Sometimes, very close friends will think they do not need to pay back a loan from a friend. Also, lending money to someone is the best way to cause problems in the relationship. Um, I've had several friends who lent money to other friends, and that money was never repaid. It has been years since the money was lent out. Listen to a conversation between two students. Hey, Ryan. Are you going to be Denise's roommate again next semester? Actually, Tara, I'm not so sure. I might not be back at school next semester. I'm having some money issues and might take a semester or two off and move back home. But what happened to your scholarship? I thought it covered your tuition and housing. Well, it does, but I let my grades slip, and now they're just below what I need to keep my scholarship. I don't think I studied hard enough this semester. Wow, I'm sorry. School just won't be the same without you. Is there something you can do? Maybe you could apply for a loan. I thought about that. I could take out a student loan to pay for tuition and all, but that's so much money that I have to repay. I'm not sure if I want to have that responsibility. Some people are still paying off student loans even 20 years after they graduate. Well, I suppose you could get a few jobs over the summer and save up some money, right? I guess so, but it still might not be enough. I might have to work for a full year to save up enough money for tuition and housing at the university. I don't know what to do, but I know I want to finish my degree. Now get ready to answer the question. The students are discussing the man's problem. What do you think the man should do? Give reasons to support your choice. I think that the man should take out a loan to pay for his school. Most people who go to school that don't have some sort of scholarship have to take out loans to pay for their college. He, he shouldn't take the time off of school to work and earn money in hopes that he would earn enough to be able to pay for classes. If he worked for a year and still didn't have enough money for school, what would he do? He would be immensely disappointed, and he would still have to work another semester to pay for his tuition. If he can take out a loan, he can work after he graduates to pay off the loan. Most people do this, and this is the better option. His goal is to finish his degree, so his first priority is to go to school. If it, really, if it would really take him 20 years to pay off his loan, does he think he can earn all that money in only a year's worth of work, or even in only one semester? Now listen to a conversation between two students. Hey Jason, what's wrong? Oh, hi Carrie. I just got my report card for this semester. It isn't exactly as good as I thought it would be, and I really studied hard this semester. Let me see. Oh, they're not so bad. I would be happy to have your grades in those classes. Are your grades good enough to keep financial aid? I hope so, but it'll be really close. I think they're borderline. What should I do? I always made perfect grades in high school. I thought my first semester of college would be the same. If I were you, I don't think I'd take such hard classes my first year. If you're worried about your grades and keeping financial aid, Take easier classes. I could take easier classes, but I want to challenge myself. Well, don't challenge yourself right out of college. Maybe you could take fewer classes. That would give you more time to concentrate on the tougher classes. I could do that, I guess. But then I'd be in school longer than I'd hoped. And my financial aid only covers four years of school. You know, I had a friend in the same situation. She took a semester off to clear her head. When she came back, she was refreshed and ready to tackle anything. She also had a little extra money saved up from working. 
Mm, I don't know if I'd like that. Seems kind of drastic. Now get ready to answer the question. The students are discussing the man's problem. Describe his problem, and then decide what you think is best for him. Give reasons to support your decision. The man's problem is that he didn't make grades as good as he thought he would. In high school, he made perfect grades. Now he studies really hard, um, but still didn't make good enough grades. The woman suggests that he take easier classes. I think it would be best to take easier classes. Maybe the man is still in the transition phase from high school to college. Of course, college is harder. That's why less people go to college. The man expects too much from himself. I think it would be best for him to start out his college career with simpler classes, and work his way up to harder classes. If he takes fewer classes, like he says, he he would be in a he would be in college for longer, and he would also have to pay for some of his schooling. Fewer classes would give him more time to concentrate on the harder classes that he would like to take. Now listen to a conversation between two students. Wow, I always get fired up and excited when I hear one of those political speeches by Senator Bill. Well, if you enjoy them so much, then why don't you go work on his campaign? I think they're looking for people to help. I really want to, but I already have a job and lots of classes. I don't think I'd be able to juggle two jobs, going to class and studying. Why don't you quit your job and go work for the senator if you believe in him so much? Well, I've been working at the bookstore for so long now. It'd feel like I was abandoning my boss. I really don't make so much there, but after graduation, that reference will look really good on my resume. Don't you think a recommendation from a political candidate would be even better for a resume than the local bookstore owners? Yeah, it would. But working at the bookstore is also a good job to have while I'm at school. It's usually pretty slow around there, so I can catch up on my homework while I'm at work. I think working on a campaign would be be rather time-consuming. Well, I don't think that would be a problem for you. It's like you love to stay busy. Whenever I come get you to go to a party or to go out, you're always working or studying. I think you enjoy being so busy. Now get ready to answer the question. The woman tries to persuade the man to do something. Say what she tries to persuade him to do, then state which of the solutions you prefer and why. The woman tries to pers- persuade the man to get a new job. The man has just heard a speech given by a politician, a uh, a senator. The woman thinks that the man should go work for the senator's campaign. She says that it would look better than a better than the recommendation the man would get from working at his current job at the bookstore. The woman also says that the man really likes to hear the senator speak, so the man should go work for him, and then he can hear the senator speak all the time. The man thinks he wouldn't have enough time for his new job, but the woman thinks that the man really likes to keep himself busy and and, and、uh, enjoys always doing things. Now listen to a conversation between two students. Ryan, I'm thinking about dropping our Chinese class and going back to Spanish. What? Why? I thought you really enjoyed taking Chinese. Well, I do. It's really fun. It just takes so much extra time to study. I feel like I have to neglect my other classes so I can keep up with the work in Chinese, and I think my grades are starting to slip. That's really horrible. You've already taken two semesters of Chinese. It seems like a waste if you just quit now. Couldn't you drop one of your other classes so that you'd have more time to study? Maybe, but I also hoped that someday I could be able to get a job where I could speak Chinese. I don't know if I'll ever be good enough for that. Well, you're fairly fluent in Spanish, aren't you? Didn't you even work at a Mexican restaurant? Yes, I studied Spanish for four years, and I got a job where I could speak Spanish. Have you considered studying abroad or taking some courses over the summer? 
Maybe working at a Chinese restaurant would help you too. Studying abroad can be quite expensive. And have you ever seen a white person working at a Chinese restaurant? I don't know. Now get ready to answer the question. The students discuss several solutions to the woman's problem. Describe the problem, then state which of the solutions you prefer and why. The problem is that the woman wants to drop her Chinese class after she has already been studying Chinese for two years. She wants to get a job where she could use her Chinese professionally one day, but she doesn't know if she'll ever be good enough now. The man gives the woman several solutions: working at a Chinese restaurant,、um, studying abroad, or dropping one of her other classes. I think the best idea is to try to study abroad in China. The woman says it can be expensive to do this, but college is expensive also. Maybe she can get a scholarship. Studying in another country is the best way to learn a new language. You're forced to learn the language because you use it every day. I think that's definitely the best way. Now listen to a conversation between two students. Matt, I need your help. What do you need help with? I need to talk with my advisor about my schedule for next semester, but he hasn't been around lately. I don't know what to do. Well, why don't you just schedule an appointment with him? I tried that several times, but he always misses them. Either his assistant tells me he just had to rush out the door for a meeting, or he's out of town doing research. How about you schedule an appointment with one of the other advisors, or find out when the walk-in appointment hours are for the office? One of the reasons I chose my current advisor is because he's a little famous and he's really, really helpful with my classes. He's also very knowledgeable about my major concentration. Well, it might be useless, but why don't you try sending him an email explaining your situation, and note to him how many appointments he has missed with you. Yeah, I could try that. Another idea is finding out when he teaches class, and then show up right after his class to talk to him. Hmm. And I know you might not want to think about it, but maybe you should just consider changing your advisor altogether to someone more reliable and less famous. Now get ready to answer the question. The students discuss several possible solutions to the woman's problem. Describe the problem, then state which solution you prefer and explain why. Now listen to a conversation between two students. Matt, I need your help. What do you need help with? I need to talk with my advisor about my schedule for next semester, but he hasn't been around lately. I don't know what to do. Well, why don't you just schedule an appointment with him? I tried that several times, but he always misses them. Either his assistant tells me he just had to rush out the door for a meeting, or he's out of town doing research. How about you schedule an appointment with one of the other advisors, or find out when the walk-in appointment hours are for the office? One of the reasons I chose my current advisor is because he's a little famous and he's really, really helpful with my classes. He's also very knowledgeable about my major concentration. Well, it might be useless, but why don't you try sending him an email explaining your situation, and note to him how many appointments he has missed with you. Yeah, I could try that. Another idea is finding out when he teaches class, and then show up right after his class to talk to him. Hmm. And I know you might not want to think about it, but maybe you should just consider changing your advisor altogether. To someone more reliable and less famous. Now get ready to answer the question. The students discuss several possible solutions to the woman's problem. Describe the problem, then state which solution you prefer and explain why.